Hello, my name is Bob Bonzar with the Oskawa Technical Training Department. This is a series of electronic learning modules or ELMs for the Oskawa's Drive Wizard software. In this section, we will address the overview and introduction to the software with brief highlights to lead into the following topics. Programming, monitoring, drive control, and managing files. Some of the features are available even if you're not connected to the drive, so you can work offline as well. We'll go over these features more in depth in other ELMs. You can also use the help documents for additional assistance, and feel free to pause the video at any time to try out for yourself. From this home screen, you can immediately go to the most commonly used features directly. You can start a new project. In the installation ELM, we went over how to connect to the drive. You can open an existing project. We can monitor, trend, or control the drive while online. Any of the trace, trend, or data log features will give you a graphical view of the signals you want to monitor. To use these, you need to be connected to the drive, of course. Here's a brief look at some of those signals. You can, however, open and view a previously recorded file without being connected. Signal monitoring will give you representations up to four different styles of gauges. Status and fault history is like what you would see on the drive's keypad in the U2 and U3 monitors. These keep a running track of any fault that occurred. Great for troubleshooting. When clicking on the drive control, we will need to be connected to the drive, of course. We'll go over this more in depth in another ELM. Also, auto-tuning. To optimize the motor and drive control, again, we detailed this in another ELM. There are parameter operations, Parameter Overview, Modified Parameters. If you click on Parameter Overview, you can see the modifieds there too. Print Parameters, Find, Read, Write, Compare, Initialize, Restore, and Application Wizard. If you click on the binoculars here, you can search for any parameter at any time. You see that small screwdriver? That's for maintenance. This will take you to the screen where you can flash the drive's firmware if necessary. This means we would update the operating system of the drive. It's a simple procedure to follow. The only thing is that you need the file, which can be obtained from the website uh, with a partner login, or you need permission from the Yaskawa sales representative for that. There's also the network configurator to connect to a network like Ethernet, for example. And if you need help with the Drive Wizard software or access to documentation through Drive Wizard, you can click here. If we go to Program Help, we can look at different things documented, like getting started or how to do a startup or any of these that are shown. Under Drive Documentation, we can access the manuals for the different drives through Drive Wizard from the web. And we can check for the latest Drive Wizard update of the software, but you need to be connected to the internet. 
You might also get a notification in the lower right hand corner of your screen that an update is available. You can access many of these features that we just discussed multiple ways. So from the top, we can see the different tabs. If we click on File, we can see New, Open, Save, Save As, Help, Tools, Maintenance, About, Print, Close Options. If you happen to replace a new control board, then you would have to update the serial number as well. And to do that, you would access that through maintenance. Now on the home tab, we basically covered most of this already in this previous video. As for edit, again, you have drive selection, parameter overview, modified parameters, compare, and all the other stuff that we've already discussed. But again, it's grouped under edit. Startup and diagnostic, again, these are features for monitoring and capturing data for troubleshooting or to report. Tools, this is again, application wizard, network configurator, or convert project. And then help. This is again, where we can see program help, drive documentation, the version, options, and check for any updates. Now we're gonna select options for a moment. Under options, this allows us to customize the drive wizard software the way we would prefer to see things. So as you click on the different tabs, you have different features. And as you check the boxes, you can enable or disable different features. One example we have here is to read all the parameters from the drive after going online. For example, by default, the drive wizard reads parameters from the drive when you connect. But suppose you already have a file open. If you uncheck the box that says read all parameters from the drive after going online, it won't overwrite that file for you. And the data tab here shows the files that are supported by the drive wizard. 